Hello, my name is Neb Kamus Sen Atumri, and this is a new set of video series. This one is entitled The Barathory Gland and Tammuz the Theorist. The last video, video number 14 of the fall of Babylon spoke on two groups of people El Kafirun, those who conceal what they knew to be the facts and El Munafirun, the hypocrites this video begins with a dire warning from the angel Elohim Anunnaki Melchizedek with tablets chapter 10 Tablet 4 verses 1 through 19 warns, Lo, they, the true Muslims, will be my own, said the Yahuwah of the angelic army. In that day, in that very day, when I take up my possession as a male living being spares his son, that serves him then you will see the difference between the Zodokites and between the wicked and between him who serve Elohim and him who do not serve him for here the day will come that will burn up as a pot of fire on all the arrogant ones on all that do wickedness will be stubble and the day that will come will burn them up it will leave neither neither root nor branch but as for you who respect out of reverence my name Naya Malachi Zodok Yokel the son of righteousness Shamosh Zodok who Melchizedek will come forth with healing in the corners of his wings and you will go forth and spread as calves in the stall you will crush the wicked for they will be under the heel of your feet in the day that I will do this said the Yahoo of the angelic army remember the Torah of Moses my slave which I ordered him in Horeb the desert for all Israel with the statutes and judgments you will crush Satan's head with your heel Behold, I, Yahuwah, will send Elijah, one who can foretell the future, a prophet before the great and respectful day of Yahuwah. And he, Elijah, will turn the hearts of the fathers to their children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers, or else I. Naya Malachi Zodok Yok El will come and hit the planet Earth with an utter destruction. Elijah Muhammad was sent and he did not do it. So I, Naya Malachi Zodok Yok El, am here and the whole planet Earth has been hit now. A quiet immune deficiency syndrome and no scientific term for a biological creation of AIDS it is the first of the seven plagues we will put all evil people and the false teachers under our heels are you actual facts teachers listening I 
and Melchizedek, also known as Naya, Malachi, Zodok, Yoke, El, having 50 attributes. A Kahun, priest of Alun Alun El, the most high, the highest. Holy Tablets, chapter 6, tablet 14, verses 32 through 38. Interjects here with the wise of the world identify their creator as having 3,000 tones of his own, 3,000 attributes, 1,000 are known by the angelic beings, the heavenly hosts in Malaku. 1,000 are known by the prophets. There are 300 in the Holy Pentateuch Torah. Three hundred in the writings of the ruler David, to heal him, Psalms. Three hundred in the holy scripture of Rabboni Yeshua, Chazon Yeshua, Revelation, Injil, Evangel, Revelation. And 99 plus 1 in the Quran of Ahmed. With the exception of one sacred name, we have 2,999 attributes. Now, continuing with Holy Tablets, chapter 10, Tablet 4, verses 1 through 19. The coming of Naya Malachi Zodok Yok El was not witnessed by any innocent. Melchizedek organized his schools at Salem, patterning them on the old system which had been developed by the earthly priesthood temples of the ancient mystic order of Melchizedek. Naya Malachi Zodok Yok El as Murdoch, son of Inki and Damkina, gave birth to the concept of the one deity, the universal deity, and he gave all praise to Anu. He gave all praise to Anu. He was appointed over all the deities. And he named them all Murdoch. Murdoch was taught by Anu. He was the son of Enki and Damkina. Enki and his wife Dam Damkina. Yet, he took root of all the universes and restored it back to Anu by establishing the one deity teachings and that was Anu placing him above all the Anunnaki simply the supreme being Melchizedek had warned his followers to teach about the one father and maker of all and to preach only the divine through faith alone however the new so-called teachers attempt to supplant a slow evolution 
by a sudden revolution. Melchizedek also taught Abraham about the Milla to Ibrahim or the worship of what the 14th degree, the 18th verse calls the Most High God who was Anu, the Most High. And Melchizedek, ruler of Salem, the city of peace, he brought forth wine, bread and wine and he is the Kohen priest of Alun Alunel, the Most High. Unquote. Holy Tablets, chapter 10, ta Tablet 2, entitled The Extraordinary Sinners. It states, Lo, woe unto them, El Monaf those who separate from the agreeable. They are the hypocrites and referred to as the extraordinary sinners, such as those who turn away, the rejectors, the traitors, the heretics, and the seducers of many. Hawiyah is the hell for the Munafiqon. He will be cast into the bottomless pit. What will what will make you perceive what it is? It is a very hot fire. It is an abyss. A deep place, bottomless. Speaking, they had an overstanding of right knowledge, being welcomed into the family of the Ansaru Allah, the Nubian Islamic Hebrews. And as long as the light shined on them the way they wished, they walked in it. But when the belief came facts and they were confronted with realities, they thrust their fingers in their ears and they ran back into the dunya to slander and receive a seal over on their hearts and over their hearing and a screen over their eyes. Their reward for stepping off the path will be eternal damnation. But Anu is forgiving and merciful if they find their way home. But they became hypocritical and do nothing for their spiritual health. The worms shall not die and neither shall their fire be quenched. Holy Tablets chapter 7 Tablet 1 verses 105 through 120 continues the plane of divine reality is the mental spark the true essence of being the light of life in human beings a divine spark reflected spark from Anu Alun Alun El the most high the highest manifesting as effect light disturbed the supreme balancement of darkness and he created individualism or a focal point which manifests there as opposed to here. This spark is in each individual making them a supreme being onto beings known as Anunnaki Elohim then onto human beings Onto humans, onto men, onto mammals, onto beasts like men.
on the beast like man on the beast on the demon as either being rulers of the agreeable Anunnaki Sarufair who can incarnate on behalf of human beings and of the disagreeable Anunnaki Garubad who can incarnate on behalf of man and man beast having both male and female gender for in the spirit Kadmon son of Atum and Lilith and Nakeibau and Nakeibau daughter of Path and Anath are one being Thus you Kadmon, you Anake Bao, and you Nake Bao, you are Kadmon. He is also called Adam. It is on this plane where the mental spark is formed. Then the shell of the spiritual body of Kadmon, who is the ruler of Nasut, the abode of the innocites, a spark of divine consciousness leading to the development of the human soul, being in the likeness of the Anunnaki and Anuel Hilo, most glorified and exalted light, as a child of the Elohim Elohim. The spark of consciousness, the mental spark that radiates a part of itself to the planes below it. It projects down to the spiritual plane and forms what you call the soul. It is the light of Anu El Elo, most glorified and exalted, becoming life. The spiritual body or the ethereal you is the shell of the soul. The spiritual body is will be visible as ethereal form to those close to the deceased. This is the spirit with its with the two and one half ounces of soul and the bread of life. It is the last thing to leave the body following the soul. The spirit then becomes drowsy and sinks into the preliminary sleep of the spiritual plane. The spiritual body houses the soul of the spiritual etheric plane. When the breath of life ceases to exist in human beings, the ethereal cord and the spiritual body is cut. This allows the person to live an extended an independent ethereal life much like when a baby is born the umbilical cord is cut from the mother which he or she once depended upon the baby comes out and begins a whole new life the soul is greater than life because when life is no more the soul remains forever in that which the being has done that has affected others. His soul is his essence and he is remembered time. And because the soul is greater, it gives you your will to live or die in the physical. Thus the physical life of the soul is 1000 years in this realm and the spiritual life of the soul as the spirit is the shell of the soul is 43,800 years but the existence of the soul in the minds of those affected is eternity. When a person dies the soul and the breath of life is the last thing to leave the physical body. Then the being 
should live to 120 earth years or 1,000 as nature and a part of nature on the plane of force which is the breath of life. His existence goes on to complete the cycle of existence until he or she is remembered no more. And who is remembered? Umbaba is forgotten. The soul is attracted by bacteria and a form is shaped around it which is a body that is formed by the hand of the Anunnaki, the most glorified and exalted ones, the benefit, the benevolent ones, and in the arms of Enki, Israel, the angelic being of death, son of Anu and Eid, built on the atoms of the physical plane, and it manifests as a mortal body and spirit giving birth to living soul the body to spirit the living soul is the successor of the earthly plane a son of the Anunnaki God mourn you were born of the will of Anu El Elo a living soul the mental spark all connected through the spiritual umbilical cord the etheric cord scroll number 35 mythology page 32 informs us once the agreement was made the 24 elders or Elohim planned the exact birth down to the second of these two children so that one would be dark skinned the black gene and the other light skinned the brown gene they took the two sets of chiefs to Kodesh the holy place holy place to, later to be called Salem having the population of 59,999 scientists male and female after Nakebao and Zakar was born the Zodok priest took the children to an enclosed garden called Gan in what was called Baca Nowadays, Maka. This is where Eden, the Garden of Delight, which was also called Lemuria, Omu, was located. The intergarden was protected on all sides by a race of beings called Seraphim. There, the Elohim were to guide Zakar and Adam and the Kebao Eve. And the Kebao Eve to engraft the evil out of them. For the people of Ptah lived an agreeable life around the Gihon and the Pishon rivers, and the Atomi Zakars tribe lived a disagreeable life around the Hidikai, Tigris and the Euphrates rivers amongst the 200 fallen angelic beings also known as Nephilims or Hindus. 42,000 years ago the angelic being took Zakar and the Kibau to the seat of Mu to perform an operation which would allow Nakebao's ovaries to accept Zakar's 
semen in order for them to produce a race of beings in the image and after the likeness of the agreeable Elohim to repopulate and replenish the earth for the reconstruction of earth 49,000 years ago. This is what the land of Mu and Atlantis was for. Scroll number 51, the baptism ceremony, page 52 states, their firstborn children were supposed to be born in the sixth month under the zodiac sign of Saraton, Cancer, the crab. This is also called Nob, a water sign, quality love, letter G for Jamia. Assembler because Saraton cancers are domestic breeders. But they had sex beforehand and their firstborns were born in the, in April, making them fall under the sign of Taurus. Originally, originally said Tor with the attributes of being bullish and having a stubborn, disagreeable nature. This upset the elders because they saw that their nature was soon to be disagreeable as a punishment for Zakar and the cables listening to beings other than Kalkael, Elohim, Uriel, Rubwan, the scientist Norgal, who was one of Inki's and Inna's brothers, removed the Barzuric land, which functioned along with the tonsils and the appendix from the hippocampus area of Zakar's and Nakebo's brains. This is why doctors of today say they don't have any knowledge of the purpose of the appendix. And that's why they are so quick to take it out. The barthyry gland resided inside the cavity of the hippocampus, which is within the lower part of the brainstem and is a the lower part of the brain and is, it is attached to the brain stem. The hippocampus is the tissue which holds the barotheric gland when it was once inside of Zakar and Nakebao's brain. Zakar and the Hawa's children, Cain, Abel, Labuda, and Apalemia all born with their barotheric gland functioning and they all had their glands surgically removed so that their offspring would be bred without the barotheric gland although conscious perception does not occur in the cerebellum this is a part of the brain in which you experience hallucinations. Also, cerebellar reactions are unconscious, meaning you are unaware that it happens. And that's why, even though the barotheric gland has been removed, people still get visions. And that's because although the physical barotheric gland is not present, its etheric counterpart is destruction of the cerebellum entails no loss of sensation or intelligence. And this means that although the barotheric gland was removed 
from the cerebellum, you still have the sensation of seeing, hearing, and feeling. But you do not have the four higher senses. Intuition, my perception. Telepathy, mental communication. Psychometry, object reading. And clairvoyance, second sight. Telepathy, or mental communication, is the transference of thoughts from one being to another without the use of words or wires. Intuition is the quick perception of thought by the mind without the intervention of any process of thought. Psychometry or object reading is the ability to identify or tell something about an object by picking up thought waves implanted by someone previously associated with the article and clairvoyance or second sight is to see into other dimensions second sight and awareness of distinct objects and events when you condense the five human senses you actually come out with two senses see and feel touch and hear are a part of feel because taste is a sense of touch matter touches taste buds smell is a sense of touch particles touch nerves that react to smell hear is a sense of touch because sound waves touch the eardrum and cause it to vibrate when you add the four higher senses telepathy intuition psychometry and clairvoyance you have the nine senses you were originally supposed to have these are the senses that allowed you to be in contact with the Elohim Anunnaki at all times and at random. This is also who he is, the term he has no sense comes from. The purpose of the Barthory gland when the four higher senses were active was the ability to foresee the future and the past. You could speed up molecules, levitate easily, and heal people. And by permission only, you were capable of changing from a mortal to an etheric being. Scientists recently, recently found a tool in South Africa that Nurgle used to open the skull in the Barthory gland operation. The scientists opened two parts of Zagar, the skull to remove the Barthory gland, which gave man the ability to communicate 